Hello, and welcome to PMA Consultants Knowledge Sharing Session. My name is Wayne Beauregard, and today's topic is how to create, maintain, and assign baseline schedules in Primavera P6. For those not familiar with the term baseline schedules, it is simply a copy of your current schedule taken at a particular point in time. You typically create a baseline at the point during the project when you need a benchmark to compare future progress against or to perform what-if scenarios. A good example would be to baseline the initial schedule so you can measure performance as the project progresses through time. Although many baselines can be created for a project, only two can be used at any given time to display and compare data. Before we get started, as a qualifier, this tutorial was created with P6 version 15.1. Depending on your version of the software, some of the screens may look slightly different, but should function the same. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to create the baseline schedule. The quickest way to accomplish this task is first ensure there are no projects open by going under the File menu and selecting Close All. Confirm you want to close the project. Next you will need to display the EPS structure. It should list all the projects assigned to that database. If the structure is not shown, go under the menu item Enterprise and select Projects. Now that your projects are shown, click once on the project you would like to copy, then right click and select Copy. Right click again and select Paste. To make an exact copy of the selected project, accept the default options. Click OK several times until the project is created. The project is typically created with a project ID displayed with a dash 1. You may change the ID and name by clicking once on the project and editing the ID or name to your liking. For this example, I am going to add initial to the project name, then press enter. Once the naming convention is set, you are ready to assign the baseline to your project of choice. In our example, we are going to open up the original project the copy was made from. In this case, it is our ABC bridge project schedule file. Click once on the project, right click and select Open Project. Now under the project menu, select Maintain Baseline. From here, you can add, delete, copy, update, or restore baselines for the open project. For our example, we are going to choose Add, then convert another project then you're going to select OK. A dialog box opens displaying the list of available projects from the EPS structure. Choose ABC-1 and choose the select button. At this point the baseline has been maintained or in other words a copy of another schedule has been made available to this project. Now close the active window. Your last step in the process is to assign your baseline to the project. Under the project menu, select Assign Baseline. From this dialog box, you can assign a project, primary, secondary, and tertiary baselines to the project. If I'm only comparing one baseline to the current project, then I assign that baseline as the project baseline. If I need to compare more than one baseline, then I would use one of the user baselines. Here I will choose under the project baseline the ABC project initial project schedule that we just recently maintained. Once selected, click the OK button. The baseline has been assigned to your current project. At this point, you can run whatever reports and comparisons you need. A future training video will cover how custom reports are created and used to compare data between project schedules. If you return to the project tab, you will notice the file 
we created for the baseline is no longer available to view. That is why it is recommended you make a copy of the file before maintaining as a baseline. If you mistakenly maintain a file before copying it, you can always go back to maintain baselines under the project menu to restore the file. We hope you enjoyed this knowledge sharing session and found it informative. Please visit PMA Consultants website for more training sessions on how to navigate your way around the Primavera P6 software.